Hello, my name is Aiden Soroka, and today I'm joined by two members of our talent acquisition and recruiting team. We have Ms. Megan Kaluzny and Isabella Gonzalez. How are y'all doing today? Doing good. Thanks, Aiden. Doing good. Awesome. So my first question is, how would I get my first job in human resources? That's a good question. So I guess when it comes to human resources, there's a lot of different subcategories there. So HR could include recruitment, which is what Isabel and I do. It could include more like generalist HR work, which is often doing onboarding, helping with internal employment issues or navigating exit interviews, but also could be on the performance management side or learning and development. If you were to be interested in general in that field, I would recommend connecting with the local SHRM Foundation. So SHRM is for HR individuals. Um, there are certain certifications that you would need to get as an HR generalist. And so that would be a great way to get connected with people in that community and to um, look for jobs through that through that as well. Well, I think it always starts with an HR internship or an entry level position. I think that's what I did. Um, and it, yeah, it's important to keep your network. You know, there are HR groups that you can join in and there are specific roles that you can get certified in. So. Now, another thing when coming into this internship that was a big switch up in my life was this was a whole new career path, essentially. I went from the service industry into the technology and social media field. So what are some important things to watch out for when making a switch like this? There's a few things to consider. Um, one, are you prepared for that job switch? Have you done additional research or learning necessary to make that jump? You know, I think in an internship, there's probably a little bit more leeway, but if someone were starting from scratch in a totally different field, making sure that you've trained up on some of the basic technologies um, will always help you get an in. So making sure your resume of your, your soft skills and your hard skills really align with what someone in that position would be doing. That, that's, that's an important part is doing your own research and, and putting in the time. Well, with all these services readily available, does age really matter when starting a new career? Or can you just kind of Go at it. No, absolutely not. I'm sure it depends on the industry, right? Um, but I think that in the tech industry um, that we're in, um, absolutely not. We've even hired interns that are middle-aged or have families. There's no time in your life where you're too old to start learning something new. It's really about your skills, your experiences, and even your passion that count. So your age can also be an asset. It can show, you know, resiliency and adaptability. So it's just really important for you to highlight how that journey can really bring value to the role that you're applying for. Do you need to adjust your resume for different types of jobs? I would say for the most part, if you're really really excited about a job, I would encourage you to look at the job description and have your resume and compare and see where maybe there's a difference or a gap. There are some larger conglomerate companies that also use AI that will specifically be looking for keywords on your resume. And so it is important to um, to be mindful of that, to double check that your resume is at least in alignment with some of those key skills. I think it's also just about thinking that you're customizing your pitch in a sense that you're highlighting the relevant skills and experience that you have that are also most relevant to the job. So I'd say, if, even though it's also not re a requirement, agreeing to what Megan said, you know, if you're excited about an opportunity, it's really best for you to tailor fit everything that you've had, qualifications, skills, expertise, and match that to the role that you're applying for. What does a day in the life as a part of our talent acquisition and recruitment team look like? What, what's going on? No two days are exactly the same. Really, in terms of this role, we do full full cycle recruiting. So I'm t doing it from the beginning of someone applying, walking them through the entire process all the way to the point of an offer, and then connecting them with HR to get them onboarded with the team. It's a lot of working with hiring managers and resetting expectations. Um, working with candidates and helping them feel prepared. Um, and also just having a really great time with our team. We have so much fun and we have an amazing team here. Like what Megan said, no two days are the same. One day you're just reviewing a lot of resumes. The other one whole day filled with interviewing candidates. And then 
you know, coordinating with hiring managers and eventually celebrating job offers. It's it's sometimes crazy, but it's always rewarding once you find that perfect match for the role that you're hiring for. Are there any specific softwares that help make your day go by a little easier? There's a few different softwares that we use day to day. I would say the most impactful one is our applicant tracking system called Greenhouse. Um, and that is what we like eat, sleep and breathe is being in Greenhouse. It's where we get to look at resumes. It's where we make notes during interviews. It's where we're connecting with hiring managers and asking them questions. It's where we're putting together an offer. Everything goes through that software. So yeah, that's definitely like the number one. Similar to what Megan said it's the bible for us i think you know having that ats like greenhouse it's really used to streamline the hiring process so these also manage job postings you know tracking applications and even communicating with candidates by being able to share that also with the team it just keeps everything a lot more organized and yeah just ensures that nothing falls through the cracks what if somebody's interested in getting a job in talent acquisition and recruitment like y'all? What, what should they do? I would first and foremost get really comfortable talking to strangers um, because, you know, you're doing that over the phone, but there is definitely opportunities and times where I've also been in person. Um, I've made it a habit of my own to anytime I meet somebody new, like asking them about their job because you never know where that next candidate might be. Yeah, and on the more technical side, you can, again, start with internships or entry-level positions and yeah like what Megan said it's important to network like crazy and be more passionate in terms of connecting with people I think that's really the number one key to being in a talent acquisition at the same time again there are HR certifications that you can take you know a lot of upskilling trainings perhaps and perhaps and you can always start from there